Hello and welcome to Wooden Graphite, the number two pencil based video channel on the internet. Today we're taking a look at three UK legal pocket knives that I have in my EDC collection. These three knives have been carried, tried and tested by myself for several weeks apiece. Firstly though, some legalese. In the UK, knife laws are far more stringent than in many other places in the world. Here's looking at you, America. The rules on what shape, size and flavour of knife you carry are well defined on the gov.uk website, but essentially, you cannot carry a knife in public without a good reason. Unless it's a knife with a folding blade 3 inches long, which is about 7.62 centimetres or less. So that slims down the potential options for UK EDC. Also bear in mind that any knife you carry must have a practical, non-defensive purpose. Essentially, it's illegal to use any knife in a threatening way, and that even includes legal knives. So, now that the legal eagles have been appeased, what options do we have left in the UK for decent, legal EDC knife options? We gotta find a knife that is folding, non-locking, non-serrated, and have a blade less than three inches long. My first choice is this simple folding knife I picked up from an outdoor shop in Inniskillen. It's unbranded with a plastic handle and a simple, straight three inch blade. This is the largest knife that I own and it's a pretty good weight in my pocket. I haven't been able to find it online, but I'm sure most local stores will have some flavor of unbranded, cheap and cheerful folding knife. It's decently made, but only cost me about six pounds to buy, which means I can use and abuse it without worrying too much about breaking or misplacing it. The second knife that I own is also the most expensive, the Spyderco Bug. At £15 it might seem a little bit pricey, but it's extremely well made. And it's tiny, at less than 3 inches, blade and handle when fully open. I actually had to add a small loop of paracord just to make it easier to retrieve it from my pocket. It's a great little knife for opening pesky packaging, but I do worry about misplacing it given its diminutive stature. There is something distinctly appealing about a fully functional miniature knife though, and it fits in really well if I have a lot to carry and want to trim unnecessary weight. The final knife also happens to be my favourite and the oldest of the bunch. It's this beautiful Valet utility blade. I picked it up a few weeks ago from an antique dealer in Belfast for the princely sum of £5. It was made in the 1920s by Gillette and uses the proprietary Valet razor blades as a cutting surface. The one that came with it was still sharp but pretty dirty. I was able to purchase 15 new old stock blades for less than £4 which should keep this little knife going for years and years. It flips open with the aid of this little notch which also conveniently allows you to open the blade assembly. Because it uses razor blades this is actually the sharpest knife that I own. The blades haven't dulled with age and this little beast will open up your finger if you aren't careful with it. It also features this neat little cigar cutter hole, a sign of the era in which it was made. I love how simple and elegant this knife is which is why I carry it far more than the others. It's small, understated and thin, meaning it fits into any pocket and does not draw attention if I need to sharpen a pencil in public. It's also almost a century old and works just as well as it did when it was new 96 years ago, if only everything was made to the same standards. So there you have it, my three favourites for UK legal knives. Cheap and cheerful, small and mighty and vintage quality. I carry a knife with me every day as an essential part of my EDC. If you live in the UK and you want to carry one for your work, but you worry about the legal implications, take a look at the gov.uk link in the description and read it for yourself. There are plenty of totally legal options which will not break the bank and will fit your chosen style or loadout. Here's to the first of many videos in 2017. May your blades be sharp, but your pencils sharper.